चेंज इन एंट्रापी इज गिवेन बाई डी एस इज इक्वल्स टू डी क्यू रिवर्सिबल बाई टेम्परेचर इन दिस फॉर्मूला डी एस डिनोट्स चेंज इन एंट्रापी ऑफ सिस्टम DQ reversible denotes heat change of system by a reversible process T denotes temperature of system so we have formula ds is equals to dq reversible by temperature now we can apply first law of thermodynamics that is delta e is equals to q plus w we can also write same formula for a small quantities that is de is equals to dq plus dw so from here we can write dq is equals to de minus dw now let us say my process is reversible so we have a reversible process so dq becomes dq reversible de minus dw and dw is nothing but minus p dv where p is the pressure and v is the volume and v denotes volume and dw denotes work so we can plug the value of dw in this expression so we will have dq reversible is equals to de minus of minus p dv so dq reversible becomes de plus p dv now in this formula de denotes change in internal energy and change in internal energy is given by ncv dt where n is the number of moles and cv is the molar heat capacity at constant volume so molar heat capacity at constant volume and t denotes temperature so this expression becomes dq reversible is equals to ncv dt plus p dv now we can divide both side by temperature now this expression that is dq reversible by t is nothing but ds so this expression is ds so we have ds is equals to ncv dt by t plus pdv by t now we can use ideal gas equation pv is equals to nrt so we can write pressure is equals to nrt by v so p denotes pressure so we can have ds is equals to ncv dt by t plus pressure is nothing but nrt by v and this is dv by t 
so t cancels so we will have ds is equals to ncb dt by t plus nr dv by v so this is the expression for a small change in entropy of system so this is general expression for a small change in entropy of system now we can integrate this expression to get the total change in entropy so we can integrate so we will have ds is equals to ncb dt by t plus nr dv by v now let us say initial entropy is s1 final entropy is s2 initial temperature is t1 final temperature is t2 initial volume is v1 and the final volume is v2 so we have initial situation is given and we also have been given final situation so this is initial and this is final so let us say initially we have s1 entropy t1 temperature v1 is the volume and p1 is the pressure and finally we have s2 is the entropy t2 is the temperature v2 is the volume and p2 is the pressure now let us say cv remains constant with temperature so we can take cv outside the integration sign number of mole is constant so this will also go outside so we can write n and cv will be outside of integration sign in this case again n and r both are constant so we can take outside dv by v so volume is from v1 to v2 temperature is from t1 to t2 so we will have s2 minus s1 is equals to ncv ln t2 by t1 plus nr ln v2 by v1 so we have delta s is equals to ncv ln t2 by t1 plus nr ln v2 by v1 so this is total change in entropy but this time total change in entropy is a function of temperature and volume we want to calculate total change in entropy as a function of temperature and pressure so we have to eliminate volume so we will apply pv is equals to nrt that is p1 v1 is equals to nrt1 and p2 v2 is equals to nrt2 so from here we can write v1 is equals to nrt1 by p1 and v2 is equals to nrt2 by p2 so let us plug this value here so we will have delta s is equals to ncv ln t2 by t1 plus nr ln v2 by v1 so this is v2 nr t2 by p2 and this is v1 nr t1 by p1 so nr cancels so we will have delta s is equals to ncv ln t2 by t1 plus ln plus nr ln ln t2 by t1 into p1 by p2 now we can write ln a plus b for ln a into b so we are applying this formula ln a into b is equals to ln a plus ln b so if i apply this formula we will have delta s is equals to ncv ln t2 by t1 plus nr 
basically we have written two times ln so this is simply ln t2 by t1 plus ln p1 by p2 so we can have ncv ln t2 by t1 plus nr ln t2 by t1 plus nr ln p1 by p2 so if i take ln t2 by t1 common we can also take n common number of mole so we will have cv plus r and we can write with a minus sign ln p2 by p1 so this is equals to delta s now you may remember cp minus cv is equals to r cp denotes molar heat capacity at constant pressure molar heat capacity at constant pressure and cv denotes molar heat capacity at constant volume molar heat capacity at constant volume so from here we can write cp is equals to cv plus r so cv plus r becomes simply cp so delta s is ncp ln t2 by t1 and this is minus nr ln p2 by p1 so this is the general expression for entropy change in terms of temperature and pressure so this is the general expression for total entropy change in terms of temperature and pressure